Hello guys and here we are again with a new video and a new theory. In this video we will talk about the theory of constructivism and it means another real Bannaya. Uh, I've already uh, explained this and I've already made a video for it but in Arabic and you can find it in my channel. So in this video we will try to know what does this uh, theory say about the learning process, how does it explain it and also we will know uh, its uh, pioneer and uh, who developed it. So if you've watched the previous videos when we were talking about the behaviorism and also the cognitivism theory, we've made a difference between them and we said that the behaviorism does not take care of the brain, whereas the cognitivism takes the brain as the important thing and that's how the learners use and that's what helps them to learn something, right? So in this uh, theory it uh, agrees with the cognitivism theory uh, in the aspect that she says that the learners is the one who is making knowledge, it's not just a machine but he's constructing himself by himself and he's getting the knowledge by exposure and by his own experience. So this theory is perhaps the most self-evident of all the theories of language acquisition. According to this theory, learners of language construct their knowledge of language by themselves through exposure to the world of our people. Think of language as a house. This is an example. We will imagine that the language that they are trying to learn is a house. And the learners each time he is trying to learn something about that language, which means that there are, those are the components of that language. So he is constructing his knowledge by collecting those components. And we can say those components are the bricks. So in each time the learners take a brick and he is building his own house by, by himself. So that means as people grow up and are exposed to the world and language, they improve their linguistic knowledge. And by the way, Jean Piaget is the pioneer of this theory. So we can say that so far we know that how this, uh, this uh, theory explains the learning process. It just gives more importance to the learner's uh, experiences and uh, efforts. And how does it really go with the cognitivism theory? So thank you for watching, I see you in another video with a new theory and good luck.